Next question is from Bailey Jordy. Have you tried the supplement Turkesterone? Yeah. You guys have heard me talk about ectisterone. Yes. Right? I brought it up, I don't know, how long we had the podcast? Seven years ago? Yeah. At least, right? So ectisterone is a compound. It's actually an insect. From insects, right? It's an insect yeah. hormone, but it's also found in plants. And the first studies you'll find on ectisterone, and believe me, this is connected to turkesterone, the first studies you'll find that were done on ectisterone were Soviet studies. And the Soviets studied ectisterone. Actually, there's studies from that from that time where they compared it to Dianabol. I think it was 10 milligrams of 15 milligrams a day of D-ball, which is low by bodybuilding standards, but they compared the two. Ectisterone outperformed it in an eight-week study. Yes. Finding real ectisterone was really hard to do back in the day. A lot of bullshit was out there. But I remember, I've, I've taken ectisterone. I've taken real ectisterone. And let me tell you, it definitely works. You definitely build muscle. Your appetite goes up. A lot more wool. You get... You get <laughs> No side of, uh, yeah. no, no yeah. side effects. No, um, it, it actually it definitely works. It's not forever. Now it doesn't interact with hormones. Doesn't raise testosterone. It doesn't interact with the androgen receptors. They think it's mediated by the estrogen receptors. That's interesting enough. Turkesterone is also uh, a, a similar type of with steroid molecule. They're actually steroid molecules. Uh, so it's very similar. Supposed to be more effective. I've never used turkesterone, but it's similar to ectosterone. If you get real turkesterone, you, it'll work. You'll definitely notice. But it's going to be about 45 days, 60 days, and then it's not going to work anymore. Um, and you can find, by the way, spinach. Sp spinach contains And no side effects. It doesn't aromatize Popeyes or anything like that. Or since day one. Doesn't, it has uh, health benefits. So improves liver function, blood sugar numbers, like all that stuff. So now, does that mean that there's no potential... You know, who knows, like bad side effects? No. But they used to think that it was a testosterone booster and it used, that's how they marketed it. Mm. Then they did studies and they found it doesn't affect testosterone. Interesting. Doesn't raise testosterone, doesn't lower it. So would that, does this fall under like the SARMs category or where does it? No, it? because SARMs attached to the androgen receptor. And this doesn't. Now, here's why you have all this renewed interest. Because for a while, people were like, this is the next, next greatest thing. Then everybody was like, oh, this doesn't work because every company that sold ectosterone was selling you bullshit the was it usada is that the organization that tests uh, you know the, yeah, the, athletes okay true. they came out and said we may we need to ban this uh, from olympic sports because it works mm -hmm. so now everybody's excited and i knew supplement companies would jump on the shit and say let's do this now it does they th they think it does work through the estrogen receptor so will this have potential negative or positive who knows mm -hmm. maybe in women it might have more of a negative effect i don't know for no Trash. reason yeah. didn't do shit